Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at different Disney Real Little handbags and backpacks. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview of the different items so they can decide what they'd like to purchase. And I did just want to say a huge thank you to Moose Toys for gifting me these items so I'm able to open review them on my channel. There's a total of six different Disney handbags and backpacks here. There's four backpacks and two handbags inspired by different Disney movies and characters. And there's a total of six miniature surprises inside of each bag. And over by the back of the box, it shows an overview of the different surprises inside and their themes of the different characters and movies. So for example, this is the Cheshire Cat theme bag. There's a hair tie or a compact mirror that you can collect. While this one here is inspired by Ursula from The Little Mermaid, this one has sticky notes or a zip patch. And we're trying to look for the limited edition item today. It is a flashlight and this is what it looks like over here. This backpack is inspired by the Disney Channel original movie Zombies 3, so it says Seabrook over by the front, and there's a total of six surprises to collect, and the back of the packaging shows some of the overview of the surprises that are themed to zombies, so we have a zip pad, there's some sticky notes, a pencil, and a few other stationary items as well, so let's open it up. Let's take a look at the backpack. It says Seabrook over at the front, and that's inspired by the school that Zombies is set at. It has a glitter finish, and there's some green and pink on it. There's also some lime green straps over at the back, but let's go ahead and open it up to see what surprises are inside. And here we have an overview of the surprises a part of the backpack. So first off, we have a little notebook. It says notes on the front and it's very glittery as well. There's some pink and green on it and some writing. When you open it up, the pages are completely blank inside. We also have this little pencil case as well with different designs on it and that's clear so you're able to add the different accessories and stationary items. We also have these little paper tags and a razor that's shaped as a heart. A little bag clip for the bags so you're able to attach it to your own pencil case or backpack. There's a little pencil and I love how the design matches the pencil case as well. We also have some sheets of stickers perfect for decorating and personalizing the notebook and different items as well. This one says Zed and Addison which is perfect for the movie. Then we also have some more detailed stickers as well. The next real little item that we have here is a handbag instead of a backpack. There are six different surprises and this is inspired by Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. We have a few of the different surprises like a nail file, sticky notes, and a zip patch that you can open up a part of the set. The apple design on the handbag definitely reminds me of the apple featured in the Snow White movie. So there's some gold on the handle and also on the leaf and this front part. And there's also a little face featured on the front. The bag is clear so you're able to see what's inside. So the accessories and surprises are in a packet so you can't see those until you open it up. So the bag opens like that. And there's quite a few different surprises inside. So let's open it up. Rather than stationary items, there's quite a few different fashion themed accessories a part of the handbag. So over here we have a nail file. I love the detail of the nail file. It features the seven different dwarves on there. Then we have the pencil case and it features the seven dwarves and Snow White. Then we have this design featured over in the back. So Snow White is only on the front and not on the back there. This has to be my favorite item inside of the handbag though. It is a compact mirror and that's perfect for the movie Snow White and it features the evil queen. We also have a little hairbrush and that's a bright red color. There's a pen and it has a matching design to the nail file and the pencil case. There's a clip for the handbags so you're able to attach it to your backpack or pencil case. Then we also have some paper as well. This backpack is perfect for this movie. It is inspired by Raya and the Last Dragon. I love the pastel theme of the purple and blue together. If we take a look at the back, it shows some of the items that you can collect, including a notebook, there's a zip patch, and some sticky notes as well. This backpack is so pretty. There's some blue and purple, and I just love the theming of this bag. So we have this gorgeous design featured here. Then there's a scale design featured on the side and the back, and the straps are this lovely light purple color. There's definitely a pastel theme for the Raya and the Last Dragon collection. So let's see what's inside. Go ahead and open it up. We managed to get the limited edition item. This is the flashlight that you have to try and collect a part of the collection. I'm so excited about that. It's themed to Mickey Mouse. We also have a few more items as well themed to the back. There's two different ways to work the flashlight. The first way is having it like a torch. So if you're not sitting it on anything, it'll stay that neutral cream color. Or else if you have it sitting down on something, it'll change colors and it'll be really bright and it's more of a display item. So I've just removed the flashlight out of the packaging. So you can see it starts off with this neutral cream color. And then when you press it down, it changes. So we've got blue and then it changes to pink and purple. It is so pretty. And I love how it's miniature sized because it matches the rest of the accessories a part of the collection. You can see all of the colors changing. I love this item so much. 
And here we have the surprise accessories apart of the Raya and the Last Dragon backpack. So we have the limited edition flashlight, but here's the items theme to the backpack itself. So we have this pencil case. It features Sisu over in the corner there, and it has a gorgeous blue and purple theme. We also have this notebook as well. It has a holographic finish to it. it features Sisu over at the front, and when you open it up, the pages are completely blank inside. We also have some miniature postcards as well. So this one says strong, it features Sisu, and then we have a few more characters as well. And I love how realistic they look. They actually look like little miniature postcards. We have the detail on it. Then we also have some sheets of stickers, which is really great for personalizing and decorating different items. And we also have some sticky notes as well and a little bad charm too. And we also have the two little stamps from the postcard set as well. This next backpack is inspired by a Disney villain and it is from the movie The Little Mermaid. So we have Ursula featured over the front. I love the holographic theme. And if we take a look at the back, it shows some of the items, including postcard sets. There's a notebook and some stickers as well. And here we have the Ursula theme backpack out of the packaging. You can see the tentacles featured over the side. It definitely has a green and purple finish to it and it wraps all the way around to the back and the straps are black along with the zipper as well. So let's see what surprises are inside. And here we have an overview of the items. I love how they have an ocean theme to them, and they're also inspired by the character Ursula too. So we have a notebook and a pencil case, and they both have Ursula on the front. There's a little pen that has a shell design. There's a postcard set with two stamps. If we take a look at the back here, it shows an overview of the postcards. This one has to be my favorite. It says poor unfortunate souls on it. There's a little clip for the bag. There's also this little paper accessory items and some stickers as well with a holographic finish. Some of them have an ocean theme to it, like a shell and some bubbles. This stylish handbag is inspired by the Cheshire Cat from the movie Alice in Wonderland. There's a lot of pink and the Cheshire Cat is featured over at the front. So you have a lot of striped pink items, including some sticky notes. There's a nail file and there's a hair tie and a little zip pouch you can collect as well. This bag is so stylish and definitely reminds me of the beach in summertime. It's a really bright pink color. There's some striped designs. Cheshire Cat's face is over on one side and over by the other side, we have the tail. I love the detail of that. So let's open it up. And since the bag is clear, the accessories are in another bag, so you don't see what's inside until you open it up. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there's definitely a lot of pink themed items inside of this bag, but I absolutely love it. And it's all themed to the character from Alice in Wonderland. And here we have an overview of the accessories, a part of the handbag set. So first off, we have a pencil case and that's themed to the Cheshire Cat. There's some pink stripes on it and there's a lot of different Cheshire Cat prints on it. There's also this nail file. There's two different options to choose from. This little clip for the handbag. There's also some pieces of paper. There's this compact mirror, which I absolutely love. It features the Cheshire Cat over at the front. There's this hair tie with a little charm and that has a bow on it. And to complete the collection, we have a pen. So there's definitely a lot more fashion items featured in the handbag accessories and a lot more school supplies featured in the backpacks. Let's go ahead and take a look at a backpack inspired by a classic Disney character. So we have Tinkerbell from the movie Peter Pan. There's some Tinkerbell wings featured over the front of the bag and a silhouette of Tinkerbell as well. If we take a look at the back, a lot of the accessories are gold and green. We have a novelty pen, a few different accessory items and stationary items that you can collect that are themed to her character. This backpack has such a classic style to it and perfect for Tinkerbell. So it shows the back of Tinkerbell's head and you can see her bun over here. And then we have some wings sewn onto the front of the backpack itself. It's such a gorgeous gold color and then the straps are gold as well. So let's see what accessories are inside. And here we have an overview of the accessories and items apart of Tinkerbell's backpacks. So let's take a look at the items over here. We have this gorgeous notebook and it features Tinkerbell over at the front. We also have this pen and it has a glitter finish to it and it features Tinkerbell's wings. There's also a postcard set. So there's two postcards and there's two stamps. So it says she carries a little sparkle everywhere she goes, which is perfect for Tinkerbell. And then we also have the detail of the postcards over at the back. There's a little bag charm, which features Tinkerbell's shoe. There's a post-it note. There's a bag clip and some stickers as well. Overall, it was really great taking a look at these real little handbags and backpacks. I love the detail a part of each accessory item. The items are perfectly miniature sized as well, and they're perfect for the different characters and movies too. My favorites that I opened up today would definitely have to be the Tinkerbell theme backpack and the Rye and the Last Dragon theme backpack. Be sure to comment down below if you could pick any of these options. Which one would you choose? They're all so stylish though, and I love the different accessories too. Let's go ahead and take a look at some more real little Disney theme backpacks. These backpacks are so awesome because they're Disney themed. They're inspired by different Disney movies and Disney characters as well. There's over 70 different surprises to collect and they have an example of some of the surprises featured over by the front here. Be sure to comment down below which backpack is your favorite. Mine would definitely have to be the Mickey Mouse one over there, the Nightmare Before Christmas backpack, and the Frozen one too. So let's go ahead and open up the first one. 
So the first bag we have here is inspired by the character Mickey Mouse. It says Mickey Mouse over by the side here. I love the pastel theme and there's some Mickey ears featured over by the top. If we take a look at the back of the box, it gives an overview of some of the items you can collect. You won't be getting all of the items, just a few of the items they feature here, but they're all themed to different stationary items. Here we have an overview of the bag itself. I love how the ears are glittery. They're a lovely purple color. So there is a zipper over by the front, which you can open and close, which is perfect for storing away some of those smaller accessory items. Then we have the main zipper pocket that has all of the main accessories. There's some bright pink, purple, and blue. It's so pretty. And if we take a look at the back, it looks exactly like a real backpack. And there's a clip over here. So you can attach it to a pencil case or a backpack too. So let's go ahead and open it up to see what items are inside. And here we have an overview of some of the accessories inside of the Mickey Mouse bag. A lot of the items are themed to the character itself. So first off, we have a notebook. It features Mickey's face and the pages inside are completely blank. Then we also have a sticky note. There's an eraser, which features Mickey too, and a sheet of stickers as well, which is really great for personalizing and decorating different items. There's a bag tag, which features Mickey's hand. There's a highlighter, and it does actually work, and it's a gorgeous pink color. You can have it standing up on your desk like that. There's also a letter set. So there's two sheets of paper with an envelope, and there's lined paper inside. I think this is a really great miniature item to have in the set. And here we have the next backpack. It is inspired by the movie Lilo and Stitch. And if we take a look at the back, it just has some classic stationary items that you can collect, including a notebook, a highlighter, and we also have some letter-themed items too. And here we have the backpack out of the packaging. It definitely reminds me of the summertime. The sunglasses are glittery and they're red and blue. Then we have Stitch's ears over by the side. I love how they added the detail of the face over by the front of the backpack. It's so stylish and definitely perfect for the movie too. So the backpack itself is mainly blue. If we take a look at the back, there's some straps again. And then we also have that clip as well. It's a lovely green color, which I think definitely matches the theming of the set. So let's open it up to see what surprises are inside. Let's take a look at the items that were a part of the backpack. First off, there's a notebook. It features Stitch at the front, and when you open it up, the pages are blank inside. The sticker set really is perfect for the movie. There's a total of four. There's some floral-themed items, and then there's some characters over there, too. Here we have some sticky notes, so it features Stitch at the top, and there's a floral design over by the bottom. I love this item because it's perfectly miniature size, and there is a letter set as well. So there's the envelope, and then there's two pieces of paper. When you open them up, it has some lines so you're able to write on it and it features stitch at the bottom. There is a tag over here with a floral design, a highlighter. This has to be my favorite item part of this bag. It is a ruler and there's also some stencil designs in the middle. This backpack is inspired by the movie Frozen 2. It's definitely perfect for the winter season. There's a snowflake design featured on the backpack itself. And if we take a look at the back of the packaging, it gives an overview of some of the items you can collect. The backpack itself is blue and silver. It's blue at the front and it's silver over by the bottom and the back as well. There's a zipper at the front and the side and I love the sequin detail over by the front pocket here too. The bag is clear so you're able to see the items inside which is why the accessories are in a bag so you can't see what's inside until you open it up. So let's go ahead and remove the bag out of the backpack so we can take a look at the different accessories and items. This mystery bag so far would definitely have to be my favorite so far because it features the pencil box. So it's over by the corner here. It's pink and there's also some purple. There's some detailed designs over by the front and you can open it and close as well. There's a clip holding it in place and it does hold quite a few different accessories and items. Up next, we have an envelope with some letters and when you take a look at them, it just has lines at the front, it has some diamonds over by the bottom. I love the detail of the postcards because we have two over here, but there's also some stamps as well themed to Frozen. We also have a sticky note and there's a pen as well. So the pen was inside of the pencil box and it does work. You can actually open it up by removing the lid and it features Olaf. We also have a bag tag here. There's a total of two postcards. And when you take a look at the back, there's some detail to make it actually look like a postcard, which makes it very realistic. And the set does also come with a sticker sheet as well. It features Elsa and Anna, and there's some snowflakes and diamond designs too, which ties back to the movie. The package did come with a total of two frozen bags, so I'm going to be opening up the second frozen bag to see if any of the surprises are different. It seems like the items are a lot smaller in this backpack, so I don't think the pencil box is inside of the set. So let's open it up. So here we have an overview of the items apart of the second backpack. You can see that there are some similarities in items, including the bag tag, the postcards, and the stickers as well, along with the letters too, but there are some differences. There's no pencil box or pen, but there is a highlighter and it's themed to Olaf. And then we also have that notebook as well. So it's really great to see how you can collect a variety of different items, even though you get the same backpack. 
And the next bag we have here is inspired by the movie Moana. The design of the bag is so pretty and it also features Moana at the front. And if we take a look at the back of the box, it gives an overview of some of the items you can collect in the bag itself. And now that the bag is out of the packaging, you can see the design a lot clearer. So this backpack here does not have a front zipper like a lot of the others because of the detail and design. I do love the wave detail over by the bottom here and the bag itself is a blue color. So let's open it up. Let's take a look at the items that were featured in the backpack itself. So first off, we have some postcards. There's a total of two and it also has some matching stamps as well. This here is what the back of the postcards look like and over by the front, there are some details and design which are perfect for the movie. Up next, we do have a notebook here. It says Wayfinder over by the side and when you open it up, the pages are blank. The set does also come with a pencil. We also have a bag chain and this item is perfect for the movie. There's also a sheet of stickers with different characters and it's perfect for styling and decorating the different items. My favorite item and part of the backpack would definitely have to be the eraser featuring Pua. I'm so excited to open up this backpack to see the different accessories and items. This backpack is inspired by the aliens from the movie Toy Story. So we have an alien design over by the front and I love how the front pocket features an alien over by the middle there. If we take a look at the back of the box, it shows some of the items you can collect. The backpack itself is a lime green color and there's also some purple and blue over by the back. So the front pocket features the alien here. Then we also have some more aliens over there. And then over by the back, we have some straps and it's green with some blue as well. So it's time to open it up to see what's inside. And here we have an overview of the Toy Story bag accessories. I love how all of the items are themed to the alien character. First off, we have a bag tag over by the corner here, then some stamps for the postcards. There's a total of two postcards. One says, I have been chosen. That one has to be my favorite one. I love the detail of it. Then we also have a ruler as well, and there's some stencil detail over by the middle. Then we also have a notepad. There is a pen. I love the detail of the pen with all the aliens stacked on top of each other. Then there's a post-it note and some stickers too. This backpack is inspired by Ariel from The Little Mermaid. There's some ocean themed designs on the front and I'm sure there'll be ocean themed accessories inside of the backpack too. If we take a look at the back of the box, it shows some of the items that are part of the set, including some sticky notes and a highlighter too. The backpack is holographic and it features designs of flounder and Ariel. The zippers are gray and there's a front pocket and a main pocket. And here's what the back looks like. So it's time to open up to see what's inside. Here we have an overview of the surprise items featured in the Little Mermaid bag. So first off, we have a pencil box right over at the end. It opens and closes, which is perfect for storing away some of those smaller accessories and items. The front cover does feature flounder and Ariel, and there's a castle over by the back. This item here is a highlighter, and you can remove the lid. It's a gorgeous pink color, and I love how it's blue and pink, and it's shaped as a mermaid tail too. We also have a sheet of stickers, some sticky notes, and a razor themed to a shell. And then we also have a letter set as well. We have two sheets of paper and then an envelope, and both the sheets of paper do fit in the envelope itself, and a bag tag over by the other side, which is perfect for styling the bag itself. This backpack is perfect for the Halloween season. It is inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas and Jack Skellington. As you can see, the front of the backpack is black. There's some detailed designs on it, including some bats. And then as to the zippers itself, they're teal. If we take a look at the back of the box, it shows some of the items you can collect, including a pen and a bag tag too. Let's take a look at the bag now that it's out of the packaging. I love how the front pocket here is themed to Jack Skellington's outfit. Then we also have the bow tie as well. The bat details over by the top here and the glitter finish is so pretty too. Here's what the back looks like. I love how the straps match the zipper and that teal color is so pretty. I'm so excited that this backpack had a pencil box in it as well. It's a gorgeous teal color to match the zippers of the backpack and we have a design over by the front, perfect for the Halloween season. Up next, we have an eraser featuring Jack Skellington, a pen, and it just says Disney on the front. Then we also have a highlighter as well and it features Oogie Boogie. I love how it can also be a miniature figurine, but you can use it as a highlighter and that's a bright yellow color. Then we also have a sheet of stickers as well. All I need to do is close this. There we go. Here we have the sheet of stickers. There's a few different options themed to the movie. Then we also have some stamps, two postcards, and a bag tag too. I love the detail of the postcards because they can be miniature posters as well. And the last backpack we'll be taking a look at is themed to Minnie Mouse. It's a gorgeous rose gold color and there's a Minnie Mouse bow featured on the front. If we take a look at the back of the box, it shows a few different items you can collect, including a pencil box too. 
And here we have the bag itself. As you can see, there's no front pocket. It just has the main pocket over by the back with the different accessories and items. I do love the bow featured over by the front. It's so perfect for Disney. And if we take a look at the back, the straps are a gorgeous pink color. And we also have this clip as well. So you can attach it to a pencil case or your own backpack. And here we have an overview of the accessories featured inside of the Minnie Mouse bag. And a lot of the items here are themed to the Minnie Mouse character itself. So first off, we have a notebook. It features Minnie Mouse at the front. There's a little star design and the pages inside are blank. We also have a highlighter too when you can remove the lid and it's a gorgeous pink color, which is perfect for the set itself. And I love how you're able to stand it up, which is perfect for a desk setup. Then we also have a bag tag, some stands and some postcards as well. This one says Minnie and this one features Minnie Mouse. There's a ruler and it has some stencil designs over by the middle. There's a bow and it says mini. There's a pencil and then we also have a sheet of stickers too. And here we have an overview of some of the backpacks that I just opened and reviewed. They're all so stylish and I love how they're themed to different Disney characters and movies. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it.